Dennis Lawrence from Utah Baptist Church, and tonight is our normal prayer night that we'd have at church, but due to the, us not meeting, we're going to do a prayer video, and we're going to be lifting up prayers. Now, last time I did this by myself, and I've asked a couple prayer warriors. I've got Greg Lawrence and Alan Rolke. They're both deacons in our church, and I've asked them to assist me with this prayer. So all of us are going to be praying over our prayer list and the individuals. Thank you. How you doing? Once again, uh, we're doing our prayer list. Now, there's three forms of prayer that we do. It's a prayer of communion, a prayer of petition, and a prayer of intercession. Communion, everybody knows about. That's breaking of the bread and commemorating God. And then the second one is a prayer of petition. A petition is when you ask God for something for yourself. But we're more focused tonight on the prayer of intercession. Now, intercession is a true prayer that you're sending up a petition to God, not for yourself, but for someone else. And this is important. And it's very important. In Philippians 4, 5, and 7, it says, Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. It says, Do not be anxious. Okay, do not be anxious about everything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition. You understand what I'm saying? By prayer and petition. That's intercession. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. I love that scripture. It's one of my favorites. And it says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So what we're going to do is we're going to present some requests up to God. And I want to share one other scripture. And I love this. And I talked about this in the last message. It's Psalm 91, 1, 2. It says, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. How cool is that? When you have God in your heart and spirit, when you live for Him, you're in His shadow and you can feel the power and strength in that, that shadow. So it excites me when I, I, I use that scripture because I just feel like, man, when I'm in the shadow, I've got the protection. So we're going to start with a form of prayer of intercession. And I'm going to start with this tonight. And uh, I'm going to start with our list. And I will get this list to uh, our church secretary, Jennifer. Uh, Mathis, and she can forward it out through the email distribution list. But if you want to get it directly from me, I'll have it ready tomorrow. You can email me at thisoldshack at gmail.com. As you can tell, I'm in my wood shop, and this is where I do all my videos. First, I'm going to lift up our nation and our president. I'm going to pray that God's going to give wisdom and guidance to all of our spiritual leaders, Lord. I ask that you watch over them and let them, let them listen to you about well, how we should handle this pandemic and how we should handle this issue. And Father, I ask you to give our president wisdom and guidance. I also ask that you uh, put protection around these military nurses, Lord. Uh, we got so many of them that's been deployed into hot zones. And Father, just put angel wings around them so that they don't catch these diseases and this situation. Father, we got some church members. Uh, Miss Joyce Ramsey, she's been going through a lot of surgery and treatments. And Father, I just lift her up in the name of Jesus. And Father, watch over Kathy and Sam Shear. Uh, Miss Kathy is just a dear, sweet lady, Lord, and she suffered a stroke some years back. And Father, I ask that you just protect and, and shield and guard her. And Father, watch over Mr. Sam. He's her caregiver, and he is a uh, just a kind and gentle spirit, Lord. And I ask that you just comfort him and give him rest and peace and give this family rest and peace in Jesus' name. And Father, I ask you to watch over Alan Rocky. Now, he's one of my prayer warriors, and he doesn't want me to have him on this list. But I don't care what he says, because he's not my boss. Uh, my boss is Jesus Christ, and the book says, lift up your request. So, Father, I ask you to continue to watch over Alan. Tomorrow, he's going to have a PET scan, and he's going to get checked. And Father, I claim in the name of Jesus that this thing's going to be clean and clear. In the name of Jesus, I claim this. Your word says, present your request, your request to God. Well, I'm presenting this request, Father. Keep this prayer warrior on this team and heal his body and cleanse him. I already know that you've already taken care of him. In Jesus' name, amen. It's a privilege to be able to sit here and to lift others up to you, knowing that you're going to answer these prayers. All this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, I just... Uh, first person I got on my list here is Pat and Mac. Well, they're down the road and up the holler from me. Good good, good folks. I've known them for a bunch of years. Uh, Miss Pat, she's going through some cancer right now. It's pretty critical. Uh, I love them dearly, the whole family, and they know that. And Heavenly Father, I just lift them up to you. I lift Matt Mac up to you, Lord. He's the caregiver in that, that whole situation. And I know that if he don't do right, Miss Pat's going to walk him upside the head. 
But Heavenly Father, I lift her up to You. I pray, God, that You would take this from her. I pray that You would heal her body. You give her strength. You give her courage to face it head on. Heavenly Father, I just pray for Mr. Mack as he's taking care of her. And I know he gets, he gets upset. I know he gets uh, distraught. But Heavenly Father, I just want you to know that we love them so dearly. We're, we're selfish. We don't want them to go anywhere, either one of them. But Heavenly Father, I pray that they would ask us if they need anything. Uh, we, just, we just lift them up to you at this time, Lord. Heavenly Father, uh, the next person I got is my, my sister-in-law, Gina Fay. Heavenly Father, I know she's got this cancer, this esophageal cancer. She's already went through a bunch of the chemo and she's fixing to have to go through the, the radiation portion and she's also fixing to have to have surgery. Uh, I'm being told by my brother she's going to be in the hospital for over a week during this surgery. I just want to lift her up and I want, I want to let her know if she watches this or Frank watches this, I want you to know I'm praying this much, not only for the healing, but the closeness that you would draw to God at this point in time in your life. There's nothing that you can't do with Him. He can give you the strength to get through anything. And I pray, God, that you would just draw them close to you in a way that no one else can. Heavenly Father, I lift them both up to you right now. I pray, God, that you would put the doctors in place, that the uh, chemo and the radiation and the things that they're trying to shrink that cancer, that it would shrink, that it would completely disappear. I pray, God, that when she gets through all this, I, I know the old saying that what don't kill you will make you stronger. I pray, God, that it makes her stronger in you. I pray, God, that it draws her closer to you. And Frank also, I lift him up, Lord, as he's having to take care of Gina. She's on the feeding tube, and he's having to do all of that stuff. And I know a lot of it is not pleasant, but Heavenly Father, I ask that you would give him courage, you give him strength to continue taking care of her. Heavenly Father, I lift Gina up to you. She's just such a, a sweet person. I just, I just love both of them to death. Heavenly Father, I lift them up to you at this time and ask that you would give them strength and a healing and put doctors in place that would be able to take care of them. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would heal A.W., you get her back on her feet, get her back home. I know that Uncle Charles loves her and, and uh, she loves him so much. I just pray that you get them back together, that they can live the rest of their life together and just enjoy the rest of their life. Uh, Heavenly Father, I also lift up Melissa Moore. She has stage 1 breast cancer. It's critical, Lord. Uh, she can't work right now while she's getting this treatment and stuff. I just pray, God, that you would uh, heal her body, that you would uh, put the doctors in place that would be able to take care of her and uh, get her, give her strength, give her courage. Let her lean on you, Lord. I know that you can heal her. Heavenly Father, we also list, lift up uh, Melissa Rudd. She has stage 2 breast cancer. It's also critical. She's got some issues with the chemo. Uh, she started the second round, but... Uh, she needs you, God. She's going to need you to heal her body. So, Heavenly Father, we lift her up to you also. We ask that you would put others in, in their place to help her through this. But most of all, God, we just ask that you would that she would call on you and lean on you because you're the ultimate caregiver. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I'm going to open this up with a prayer, Father. I pray for a pure heart and mind, sin free. I confront you with these people that need healing, Father, too, because I love each and every one of them, my heart and soul of them. First one I want to lift up is Janet Wise. Father, please heal her. She's been fighting over a month. I work with Bill, and I know Hannah, our kids are raised together. I just I just pray for your healing yes. on Janet and save her, please. She, she's one of your angels. And Paul, I lift up another guy, uh, another person I work with, uh, Rock. Father, he, he's a prayer warrior himself, and he's a fighter. He's a Marine. And I just ask that you continue to heal him in Jesus' name. Father, I lift up Bill Nolan. Bill Nolan's come through some serious surgery, and I just pray that, that you'll continue to move him forward and, and progress like he's going right now. Father, I lift up Jamie Webb. He's a friend of my wife's up in Harris County. Father, I visited him several times. He, he's, he's having a tough battle, but he's winning it. And I just pray that you continue to be with him and heal him. Father, I lift up 
Floyd Pippen. Floyd's another person I work with at the paper mill, Father. Uh, I just I just pray for his healing. He is he is one of your 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 warriors and fighters for his church, Father, and his church needs him and we need him. I just pray for his healing from this cancer in Jesus' name. Father, I lift up Dr. Hybosh. I lift up his family. Um, he passed away from COVID-19, but Father, his family, they, they, they need help to get back on their feet and get going, Father. It's, you know, a loss. It's, it's, it's a terrible loss for him, and I just, I just pray to be with his family. Father, I lift up Don and Judy Mueller. Judy's Don's caregiver, and, and their, their heart and soul in our church. They've done so much. She, she's a prayer warrior herself. She needs your help. I just pray for that family in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I'd like to pray for Norma Seaful. Lord, uh, she's going to have her follow-up surgery on May 21st. And, and Lord, I'm asking for protection until she gets this thing in her neck fixed. She's got some blockages. So, Lord, I'm asking you to put your angels around and protect her. Lord, I'm lifting up Shai Ramos. This is a young lady that's 20 years old, and she's co contracted a rare autoimmune disease, and there's no known cure. So I put her in your hands in the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up Kathy Stenson. She has cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma. She's taking chemo and doing better, but Father, I put her in your arms in, in Jesus' name. Father, I also lift up Nathan Tubbs. Father, he was diagnosed as his Ms. Deborah's son-in-law, and he lives in Brooklyn, and he's pretty sick, and we ask that you lift him up and his wife, Leslie, also. Father, I lift up the Stroud family. I am heartbroken in the loss of Don. Don was more than a fraternal brother. He was like a blood brother to me. Father, he was a kind, gentle soul. i never seen him lose his temper, and he always introduced his wife, Miss Kay, as his bride, and they were just a loving couple. And Father... I know he's in your presence because he had accepted Jesus Christ, Father, and, and you're going to like him. I'm just saying that. But, Father, I lift up Miss Kay because she's heartbroken to lose her soulmate and their son, Steve. So, Father, I ask that you just touch this family. And, Father, I want to lift up a special request, Lord. Now, in Philippians, it says, present your request to God. Father, I'm presenting Jim Maltzby to you. Now, we had prayed for him, and he has fought this cancer. Father, for years he's fought it and he got clean and he's fought it and he's got clean. But Lord Jim uh, had his uh, PET scan and the doctors basically told him he's got six months to live. And they said, Father, Father, I, I, I'm just asking you to intercede. Now, Jim, he is such a wonderful person, Lord, and he means so much to me. Father, I, I asked him, I said, do you know and have you accepted Jesus Christ? He said, Dennis, yes, I do. So, Father, you know who he is. And, and maybe you want to bring him home. But, Father, I'm asking to heal him, Lord. Let the world see that you are still in the healing business, Father, and I ask that you touch and heal him in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Heavenly Father, I just want to lift up Chris Joyce to you. She's got health. He's got health issues. It's just something that's ongoing. Uh, I just pray, God, that you would just touch him. I pray that you would it's not just one or two things. He's got some other stuff going on. So, God, I just pray that you would intercede, that you would lead God and direct him in a path that you would have him to go. Heavenly Father, we lift up uh, Robert, Barbara Eisel, uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, I had a, My father-in-law had pancreatic cancer, and I know it can be very, very painful. But Heavenly Father, I'm lifting this up to you. I pray, God, that you would just heal, heal her, uh, take care of it, take it from her body. Lord, we know that you're still in the miracle business. Lord, we lift up Penny King to you. She had a stroke. She's got blockages. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you would just take that stuff away from her. That uh, It's kind of what Dennis said, that uh, we want you to get all of the credit and all the glory for, for this. So, Lord, if you just create the miracles that you can do, I just pray, God, that you, that you would get all the glory for it when you do it. Heavenly Father, Seal Moss is Paula's dad. Uh, both parents are needing 24-hour care right now and uh, it's I think it's harder on Paula and Mark and, and the rest of the family than it really is on them but Heavenly Father I pray for them I pray that you would uh, right their minds that you would uh, give them rest you give them comfort uh, give them peace in their old age 
I pray, God, that you would give the, the caregivers rest, uh, that they can take care of them, that uh, someone would step up and intercede to help them. Heavenly Father, we just we love that whole family so much. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Mr. McCook, we, uh, Mr. Cook, we bring him up. He's got uh, cancer. He's off the feeding tube and, and uh, radiation, uh, but he needs a miracle, Lord. Uh, it's, 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 he's going to need you. So we lift him up to you, God, and we lay him in your hands and just we depend on you to take care of that. Dr. Murdoch, Lord, this is a caregiver himself. He's got cancer. He's been fighting this for quite a while. Lord, I've, I've lifted him up so many times. And I can just think in my mind, here he is, a doctor caring for others, and he's still caring for others. And here he is with cancer himself. A very selfless, uh, unselfish person, Lord. I just pray that you would heal his body. Uh, Pastor Stephen Brinkman, another one, Lord, that's still out there on the, on the front for you, uh, lifting others up. Uh, he needs a miracle, Lord. And, and what, a, what a testimony it would be for him and for all that have been praying for him if you would you know, heal his cancer. Take it from him, Lord. You would get all the credit and all of the, the glory for that. We just lift him up. We sit him at your feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father God, we come to you again. Um, Father, I pray for your spiritual healing for all these people that we're praying for physical healing for, Father. Father, I lift up uh, Bobby Hughes, been a lifelong friend since childhood, Father, and he's, he's doing better with his heart surgery, and Father, I just pray that you keep him on the road to healing, and you'll be with Amber, his daughter. And Father God, I lift up Steve Speakman. He has some health issues. I just, I just pray for Angie and, and Steve, and I just pray that you intercede in their families and that you You'll help them to you know get on track. Father God, I lift up his sweetheart. She's been beside me the whole time I went through my battle. Dot Ward, Father, she's an amazing lady. She's her strength, and I, I just pray she's broke her ribs, and I just pray for her comfort. And she'll be with Lonnie and Glenn, her son and his wife, and give them strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I lift up uh, Chris Mitchell, deployed, and Evan Moore. They're both family to me, Father. I, I was raised in the military. I know what it, it's about from a dependence perspective. But Father, I just pray that you'll protect them and that you'll keep them safe and that you'll bring them home safely as, as they you know, they, they're defending our country and protecting our rights, Father, and that you'll be glorified in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, before we close this video, I do want to lift up Sarah Page. She's a close family friend, almost like a, a granddaughter to me, Lord, and I ask that you watch over for something. It's an unspoken prayer, Father, and I don't know what the needs are, but you do. And Father, I want to thank these two prayer warriors, and I'm going to ask Alan to close this video out in prayer for us. Alan, would you close this? Father, I just lift them all up, each by name. We're heart and soul with these people. Yes. And I, we just ask that, that you'll heal them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of our video. Come visit us at Yupatoy Baptist Church once we open. Now, this will be posted on this old shack, uh, uh, this old shack Facebook, but it's also going to be on this old shack YouTube, and then we'll share it on uh, Yupatoy Baptist uh, Facebook website. Thank you much. Have a great day. Amen.